Well, hello folks. I picked up another box of uh, pennies while I was out and about this week. I poured all the rolls out and looked through them, and hey, I found two wheat penny enders. Pretty cool. One of them, you, I can see the date. It was a 48, I believe it was, and of course this one, I'll have to open it and see what I've got. Pretty fun finding those. Uh, I'm set up uh, to get started. I weighed my box over here of copper. I'm at 21 pounds and 2 ounces, so it's going to take almost 4 pounds. And here in Kentucky, where I'm getting these, I haven't been getting anywhere. I haven't been getting that. I've been getting a little over 3 pounds sometimes, and sometimes a little under 3 pounds. So it'll probably be my second box before I'm ready to seal that one up to make it my 150 pounds stored away of copper pennies. But I'm going to tear into this, uh, see what this other wheat penny is, and uh, maybe I'll find some a dozen wheat pennies this time. That'd be really cool. We'll get started. Let's just bust this one open real quick and see what it is. Come on out of there, fella. Nineteen fifty one D. Not rare, but you know, still up absolutely fun to find. Alright, that's number one and we'll see how many more we get. I just wanted to show you real quick that the other one was a forty eight D. And that is two. That's a good way to start a box. Two enders in one box. That's really cool. In the second row um, of the ones that had the wheat pennies, I find a 1968 Canadian copper penny. I enjoy finding those too. Just part of the fun to me. Just the, the different stuff. I'd love to find a coin from another country in this box. Last week I found that Swiss coin. That was a lot of fun. From um, 1920, over 100 years old. That was really cool. I found it in a coin machine. So far the copper is pretty good, I'd say. I'd be amazed if I got four pounds, but that'd be awesome. After a few more rolls, I find my third wheat penny. 1951D. I think that's what one of the other ones is. Wheat penny number three. Pretty cool. You know, I'm all the time reading about copper and stuff, and, uh, that one's pretty red. I was reading that how good copper is for plants. It's antifungal. And it's really good if you've got plants just to stick a couple of copper pennies in the ground around them. And it's really good for them. And it also keeps away uh, lots of different types of little bugs and critters and things. So there's a pretty neat little use. And you can use that to store them and hide them away. Your copper pennies. Wheat penny number four. Ooh. I can't hardly read that. Oh, I believe it says 1947. Not the best of shape. He's feeling kind of green. Copper. While we're talking about copper and plants, if you take um, cut flowers, take your vase, put water in it, vase, and put in a copper penny or two and a teaspoon of sugar, and then put your cut flowers in, and your flowers will stay fresh longer. Ain't that cool? Ah, what's that? 1941. Cool beans. Two wheat pennies in that row. Very nice. 
1941. That's number five. We got a long way to go over there. The very next roll from that last sweet penny, and I find another Canadian. 1997. So that is not copper. The last copper was 96. And, the, and it would have been the 12 sided. Well, that's all right. Aha! Wheat penny number six. Cool beans. What do we have? 1953D. You know, I was talking uh, the other day, uh, if, if you saw my last video, about the 1959 wheat penny they found in 1980s over in California. It's worth a fortune. It's the only one that's ever been found. So is it possible to get a 1958 memorial? Probably not. Probably, uh, probably not possible to get that. Anyway, just thank you. Maybe true. So they did a study a few years ago <laughs> about pennies and uh, whatnot. And they determined that if you find pennies by the wayside and bend over to pick them up, that on average, if you picked up enough pennies, you would make about $10. The average person would make about $10 per hour. It's not a lot of money in today's time, but it's a lot healthier for you. It's good for your health to bend over. And if they're all copper pennies, then it, you can like double that. But um, if you don't think $10 an hour and bending over is worth your time, then leave it lay for the next person. I just thought that was an interesting study. While we're talking about pennies and copper and good for your health. I pick them up. I don't care. Look at that thing. Wow. He got into something he shouldn't have gotten into. Well, I'm now halfway through the box and I weighed the copper and I'm only at one pound and seven ounces, not to count my 82 so I probably am not going to get my box over there uh, Sealed today. I didn't think I would but you know, there's always that chance uh, If you saw me talking about these nasty old things uh, That the coin machine kicks out. I'm already at seven in this box and um, I tried to take a couple of these to the counter and they said we can't take those <laughs> I'm like Okay, I th it's real money, but anyway so I've, I'm just saving them, and I'm going to roll them up uh, in a roll of pennies, and I'll take them back that way. And then they'll take them, and they'll get 50 really nice pennies. Maybe they'll um, give them to another customer that's a collector, and he'll make a video and go, look at this 50 disgusting pennies I found. <laughs> if it's you, I'm sorry. Did somebody try to make this 1971D copper penny look like a steel penny, you reckon? I've got about 13 rolls left to go. Haven't found a wheat penny for several rows. I'm finding a little bit of copper. So that's that's good. You know when I get to the end of the box and I haven't found a dime, there's a little bit of sadness. But I try not to show it. <laughs> Where are the die? Oh, yeah, that might make it through the machine. I don't know. It's pretty bad. Look at this. Is that crazy how many I get in each box? Ah! 
Look at that. <laughs> Wheat penny number seven. All right, what do we got? 1944. Oh, there's another one behind it. Oh, that's cool. That's number seven and number eight. Very nice. 1950, 70. You know, I have found about five uh, 1959s, and guess what? None of them were wheat pennies. But I looked. <sighs> I just can't keep every 2017 P that I find. So I'm going to save that one for the next person. 82. I believe somebody did the test on this one and found that it's not copper. Eighty-two. I may have just found a clipped planchet coin. It's a 1980 copper from Denver. It doesn't look like it's just had snippers to it. I think that that came that way, but it's hard to tell for sure. But I'll definitely put it aside, because I believe that's what it is. If anybody can look at this and tell me, I'd appreciate it. Let's just go ahead and finish this roll. Maybe we'll find Wheat Penny number 9. On to Copper and Good Health. Did you know that copper is extremely good for blood circulation? Mm hmm So what you can do is you take your ooh, bucket of uh, copper pennies and you just plant them old feet down in there and just let it sit and move your feet around for good health. 82 really good for you and um, also the reason I say put your feet in is because the bottom of your feet are like the best re have some of the best receptors in the entire body we penny number nine very cool what do we have 1946 s cool beans I'll have to check my book and see if I need that one. I like finding the S coins. And the S wheat penny is even more fun. That's number nine. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. So after you uh, rub your feet all into your copper pennies, the person that you sell them to, you might not want to say, oh yeah, I rubbed all my, my feet in there. We invited the whole family and our neighbors to rub our feet in there too. But it sure is good for you. I wanted to just show you this briefly and I'll key in on the feet. This is a reflexology chart and it shows you all the different spots on the bottom of your foot that's connected with other parts of your body. And so I think, you know, acupuncture and all those things are, are really good for you, but putting your feet in the copper and just rubbing it around and getting that on your skin is just really good for you. Not only is it good for blood circulation, but it boosts skin health, copper does, and it even helps fight infection. So that's pretty amazing stuff, what copper can do. That's why cooking in copper, if you get a copper pot, so they're really good for you. But uh, if you're interested in one of these uh, charts, I'll put a link to one. Uh, these are laminated um, reflexology charts. I just opened this roll, and after this roll, I've only got four rolls to go, and I will be done with this box.
I wanted to tell you that, um, that's a pretty nice looking one. I guess I'll set that one aside. I did not need that 46S for my book. I've already got that one. I found another pretty nice uh, 2009 there. Found a few more of those. <laughs> Get some more light on the subject. So how else is copper healthy for us? Financially, it's healthy. Every penny you find is worth two and a half cents. And surely it's going to go up. Everybody says that it is. It almost has to because the demand for copper is getting greater and greater. And so it's healthy financially. <clears throat> and when you find a wheat penny, it makes you smile. And if you read about smiling, smiling is so much healthier than frowning. I hope we get number 10. I got four more rolls. I have nine wheat pennies so far. Look at this, folks. Two rows to go, and I find a King George VI, a Canadian collector coin. What year do we have? 1940. That is really cool. That is so nice. Oh, it's fun to find those. That is really neat. Well, I'll put that one away. I haven't got my number 10 yet. Maybe we'll get it. Got this row and two rows to go. I got some 82s. I wish I had kept track of 80. See how many I get per box. I get a lot of them. And I'd be curious to see what my record is. I'm the most I've ever gotten. A lot of times I don't even count them. Sometimes I do. You know, just go to the bank, get you a box or two of pennies, or $25 a box if you get the sealed box. You can get customer rolled some places, if that's what you prefer looking for. And just go through these and pull out the Canadian, and hopefully you'll find a handful of wheat pennies. You might even find a really cool collector coin. Sometimes when I find the neat coins, I don't look for a lot of the variants like a lot of people do. But I, I look a little bit, and every now and then I find something. And sometimes I sell them, and I make a little extra money that way. Well, I'm down to my last roll right there. We'll see if I get lucky and get a wheat penny in the last one to get my ten. Not that you have to have ten, but... That's what I usually shoot for, is trying to get 10 per box. Nine's not a terrible thing. I didn't get a dime. Well, there for a while I was just getting dimes real consistently. The last few boxes, I haven't gotten one. I was just like getting used to them, you know? Just kind of part of the thing. Uh, I think that says 90. Get now near the end. Doesn't look like I got my 10. Oh, well, it's okay. I got 9. 
And I got a collector, King George the Sixth. That was fun. I'll weigh my 1982s and mix put the copper ones in with my copper box and weigh them. Um, I, know, I might have three pounds there. I don't think I have the three pounds ten ounces I need for my to fill my other box, but I, I might have three pounds. Well, I had 61 1982s from this box, and I weighed them all out and added them to today's <laughs> copper. And I've got three pounds and four ounces of copper today. Not bad. I'm pretty pretty tickled with that because I had there for a little while getting just under three pounds per box, and the last two I've gotten over. Plus, I got my collector 1940 King George the Sixth. That was a lot of fun. Pretty neat. Pretty good day. Pretty good. I'll add it now to my copper over there and I'll just be less than a pound away. It sure does look full, but it's about a half a pound to go. And we'll seal it up and I'll have 150. Have a great day and good luck with your hunts.